Hi everyone, this is Chris from Proving Grounds, and I'm gonna show you a method to load maps, waypoints, airspace, and the Proving Grounds stats in XESOR in about five minutes. This requires a device that runs XESOR and an internet connection. Most often this is an Android device, and XESOR is installed from the Google Play Store. So here is a brand new installation of XESOR with no maps, waypoints, or airspace loaded. First, the thing I'm gonna do is download the files I need. Today, I'm gonna to use York Soaring Association as an example. So I'm gonna double tap on the screen to bring up the menu, and then I tap on config, and then I tap config again, and uh, select file manager. At the bottom of the screen, I'm gonna tap on add, and I'm gonna select the map that I want. And scroll down to the Canadian maps, and uh, for York Soaring Association, they're gonna use Southwest Ontario. I'm gonna tap on Southwest Ontario and select at the bottom of the screen. Now it starts downloading. Next, I'm gonna add the waypoint file. I'm gonna start scrolling down and we have a special Proving Grounds uh, waypoint file for Canada. Now, uh, waypoints, Files are usually dot cups. At the bottom of this file, there is can underscore pg underscore a to m and underscore n to z. Uh, the a to m and n to z uh, stand for the first letter of the club. So in this case, it's going to be y for York Soaring Association. So we're going to click n to z. I'm going to select at the bottom and it'll start downloading. This one downloaded really quick because it's a small file. Tap on add again at the bottom to select our airspace file that we want to use. And we go through all the map files of .xcm and then through the waypoint files of .cup. So through to the uh, airspace files that are .txt and we select Canada airspace and uh, click select. Canada airspace is actually updated by myself with the uh, and and posted on the Proving Grounds website. Then we'll tap close, and uh, now we have to load the uh, files into XCSOR. So we're gonna double tap on the screen to bring up the map, select config, and then system, and select site files, and then and let's tap on the map database, and we're gonna select Canada Southwest Ontario, and tap select. Then the waypoints, Canada, PG, and Z, select. And airspace is Canada airspace, select. I'm gonna tap on close twice and our terrain and airspace files will load. As you can see, they're showing up on the map now. You can see one of the waypoints down on the bottom left. Now we'll uh, load our Task. So we're going to open the menu by double tapping the screen and then tapping on nav and then tapping on task. Now you could enter the task by individually entering each uh, turn point, but in this example, we're going to show you a bit easier way. Let's tap on manage then tap on browse. There's nothing shows up here. So uh, you can click on more in the bottom corner of the screen and it will give you a list of waypoint uh, or sort of tasks that you can choose. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom to uh, York and we're gonna load the Platel task in this example. And then we select load and that's us if we wanna load the selected task. I'm gonna select yes. And now our task is loaded uh, York Soaring, Grand Valley, Fergus, Arthur, and York Soaring. All of them are cylinders with a two kilometer radius, which is what we want for uh, proving grounds. And all we have to do is select close and then close once again. I'm gonna just open up the menu again, click display and turn on pan mode and we can pan over to our task and check that it's correct. That York Soaring Association Grand Valley, Fergus, Arthur, 
back to York Soaring. So that's it. That's all you need to do to start uh, flying XE Soar with Proving Grounds.